There you go. 4 1 Phillies as we welcome you to Phillies Post Game Live, presented by our friends at Cure Auto Insurance. Ricky Patalico, Ben Davis, John Cruck coming up from the stadium. In a moment, I'm Michael Barkan. We knew it was going to happen. We didn't know when. We hope it was four games ago or five games ago now. But the bottom line is they get the pitching they need. Matt Strom was fantastic, allowed just one hit, and they get the run scored in multiple innings. Ricky Bo, this was pretty textbook. Yeah, Strom getting the four strong innings I think was the most important thing the Phillies could have asked for today through 61 pitches 42 strikes and I, I will say this much he attacked hitters this is something that we've been longing for for all the, all these pitchers that have gone in there before him to go and attack hitters be the aggressor I thought Strom was the aggressor in this game and it showed he was able to change eye levels it was a beautiful thing and then come on the Schwarbenator yeah yeah. Beautiful. Very nice. Very nice. Schwarber gets off of Schneid, gets a home run in his first at bat, has two RBIs, Ben, and that is huge for the Phillies tonight. It was huge, and he really is their leader, uh, especially with Harper being out right now. The, the swings that he had tonight, we talked about his timing last night, how he was late on the fastball, early in the breaking ball. Well, he was on time this evening. The swings were great. What I really, really loved was his balance. We showed that home run, and it looked like he looked like the little man on top of your, your trophy at a little leg. The guy standing up there on the top, that's what he looked like. <laughs> that balance was so good. That's uh, funny. You, you just love to see it. But, uh, you know, I, I got to talk about Strom as well. He was just awesome. 64% fastballs, whether that be the two-seamer or the four-seamer, he just went after our very, very good fastball hitting ball club in the Yankees, and he dominated. Yeah. And the other thing that was pretty impressive, you're talking about four innings. He only had three strikeouts. He was letting his defense do the work and didn't have any problem with that. A lot of guys may go out there, especially against a team like the Yankees, and say, oh, I, I need strikeouts. I need strikeouts. Almost what it looked like Taiwan Walker was trying to do yesterday in the first inning. Strom instead was just hitting his spots and, hey, here you go. Hit the ball. Hit him to my fielders. And the and, uh, fielders did a really nice job today, too. They sure did. Let's go now to Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Check in with John Cruck. Call tonight's game with Tom McCarthy. John, this is a Phillies team that was outscored 37-12 to in their first four games. They scored just five runs in their preceding three games. I mean, it was a mess the first four games. And to see this, really, it gives you hope for what's to come, doesn't it? Well, yeah, I mean, you know, you hate to start the season off 0 4. Let's just get that out of the way right now. But, you know, the, the good thing is, is being around these guys, not one guy was panicking about anything. It, it's, you know, it's like I, like I was talking to Kyle Schwarber before the game, and it's like, you know, if you can't make up four games with 158 left, there's something wrong. And he started laughing. He goes, Well, I never thought of it that way, but you're right. Uh, you know, it, it, look. I think you said it, Michael. When you start the season 0-4, uh, it looks awful. But if you lose four games in, like, August or, you know, you're like, all right, we yeah. got to get back on track. Everything's going to be fine. But, yeah, you do panic, uh, you know, early in the season. But the great thing is is that as much as we panic, they were calm down there in the dugout. So, uh, you know, thank goodness they're the ones playing and not us. Let's go to the Bronx here from Rob Thompson. Yeah, it was great. Um, he handled those guys pretty well in one walk, I think, which is good. I think we only had two walks in the entire game, but I thought he threw the ball great. Slider was good. Um, fastball had movement. It was effective. Pitched up in the zone. A lot of swings and misses. Um, but the entire bullpen was really good. You know, Kimbrell bent, but he didn't break at the end. Um, the job that uh, Alvarado and and Bilotti and, and Brogdon did was just phenomenal. Was that the kind of night you needed to see out of the bullpen after? Yeah, you know, I mean, you, you can't walk people, and we didn't tonight. You're, you're going to walk a few here and there, but uh, at the rate that we were going, it wasn't wasn't going to be very good for us. So Was Sir Anthony unavailable tonight? Or? Yes. Okay, so he was yeah. down. That's yeah. why Moore was warming up in the eighth. Yep. Gotcha. Yeah. What was that like to see out? What's that? What was that like to see Schwarber hit the mouse home run to get you guys? Started? Oh, it was great. You know, and then Marsh hits a big home run, and Turner has a big hit. And uh, who was the other RBI? It was um, Schwarber. Schwarber. You know, base hit the right field. Yeah. So it was good. It was a good offensive night. I thought we swung the bats well again. And, you know, it's good to to uh, get our first win, but, you know, it's just 
one win. We got another game tomorrow. We got a tough pitch we're going to have to face. So we got to knuckle down. Was there anything wrong with Sir Anthony after last night? No, he's just a little bit, you know, tight, just from pitches. Like Strom. Uh, he's he's ahead. fine. Okay, yeah, I got you. He's fine. Strom has had some success here and against the Yankees team. What do you think it is about him that he's he's able to deliver? In the I'm not really that? sure. You know, um, he's got that kind of funky delivery, and ball gets on you, and maybe that's what it is. Just deception, you know. How important is Brogdon's ability to go multiple innings without having the traditional long man right now? In the yeah, it's huge. I mean, we got Vasquez, we got Brogdon, we got um, now we got McKinley Moore, so we got a little bit of length, but. Um, yeah, that was that was big tonight. I, mean, I hope he feels really good about himself. Strong looked like he was stronger after his four innings. Could he have gone longer? Yeah, and we were going to send him back out because he was at I don't know how many pitches he was at. Sixty-one. Sixty-one. We were going to send him back out, but we had a long inning. They made a pitching change, and I was like, okay, let's just start the inning with Pilate. What do you think he'll be at next time? Um, probably seventy-five, eighty, maybe. So you guys will keep pushing him. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. And he'll keep relieving in between, like, like how he um, he pitched out of the bullpen in game one. He'll keep. Well, that was because it was going to be so long between oh, outings. Okay. Now he'll we'll treat him as a starter, right? Okay. He will not pitch out of the bullpen okay. in between starts. After a couple of nights of like not coming through with runners and scoring positions, did it feel like right man, right spot with Trey Turner there in the fifth inning, two outs. Yeah, yeah, and Schwarber too. I mean, that was big. So, just to add on, yeah. How impressive are Turner's practical skills? Unbelievable. I think that's where his, all his power comes from. He knows where the barrel's at, and he barrels a lot of balls up, and he uses the pitcher's power for his power. Yeah. It had only been one homer in the first four games. Is it nice to see some fly like that? Just to Yeah, you know, that's part of our game, and, and we're not really walking much. So if you don't walk, you don't hit home runs. tough to score runs. You know? It's tough to string a lot of hits together. So, um, you know, right now we need to put the ball in the seats if we're not going to walk. But we'll walk at some point. So if you would score a fifth round in more comes in, is that what you were thinking? Um, yeah, possibly. Okay. Possibly. It's, it's, it's a strong swing. I, I love watching him hit. I to love the it. tune of two runs batted in tonight. Here's Kyle Schwarber in the Visitors Clubhouse at Yankee Stadium. How good was it to uh, get that 200 home? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, feels good, right? I, I think the biggest thing is, you know, being able to put a uh, start up, start with the lead, and um, yeah, I think the, the personal accomplishments, you know, those things kind of will come after you're done playing, right? But, um, you know, cool stat, cool thing. Uh, definitely, definitely, um, definitely a cool thing, but, you know, happy about the win. Um, I think the biggest thing is, you know, get the lead. Strami went out there, you know, pitched his, pitched his butt off, you know, hasn't got the chance to really build up and um, goes out there, goes four strong. And uh, bullpen comes in, does their, does their thing, and we kept uh, kept the bats on them, so it was really good. How does Between that the, influence uh, you guys on the offensive side when you see a performance like that from Strom and then from the bullpen? Really yeah, you know, like that's our thing is that you know you see a guy going out there, he's he's pitching really well. You want to go out there and keep putting up runs for him. Um, you know, we're you know, for us as an offense, you know, we want to try to always be as relentless as we can. Um, but you know, obviously, a, a exceptional job tonight by him going out there and and throwing four really good innings, and um, for the offense to keep going out there, putting putting up good at bats.